Bless her, bless her, bless her. A beautiful evening. Sun just set. Over there. Still I deal the heat. You see? Now have a quick have a quick piece of reasoning. You see? And never wanna really have the reasoning about, you know, like something sit by my soul. From morning, is that like more more stay away from the reasoning, more stay away from the conversation, but it's like it's like you know something sitting in your soul. And you say to yourself, say, what if you don't get the opportunity again to reach out to the person yeah, the way how may I reach out? Cause things and times change. And sometimes you have to reach out to people. Um sometimes you have to reach out to people. Something you reach out to people through social media are the best way you can. But more want the opportunity for um, say a piece for me things in my office. I think in my office that piece here. So I said, hold on it, let me. Yeah. So, quick and fast, see? It's not just me. It's not just me having a conversation here as a, um, as a man with 24 years or 25 years in a dance hall music. With 25 years. You know this music, yeah? And let me tell you something. This music has been very good to me. Very, very good. Because I remember the days when I used to have nothing people. People used to run me out of them house and them thing there. See? I never know which part the next bread I come from. I remember my mother, my mother used to walk and wash people clothes, right? And I used to feel so ashamed to take money from my mother. You see? I used to feel so ashamed to take money from my mother. My mother go wash the people them clothes and but well, nothing not go on for me. I'm I have to take the money. And I always tell myself so I just want to help my mother. Yes, I'm say. So I see youth with similar stories. You know, something about something about them make me want to see them do well. Make me want to see them sucks. Success. Even past my own. You understand me? I say? I want them reach to the level where them success. Go way above my success. Because me see, it's like me I watch myself as a little youth. And one of them youth there, is a little youth when I actually come across a video. I came across a video on YouTube. I don't know how, me, how I came across this video, but I just see a video and I say, I watch this video. Yeah. Right? No, as a matter of fact, it's nightly fix, I think, I saw do an interview with a youth. And I always watch Nightly Fix and um, program them. So I listen to youth and I like how the youth reason. So then I start listening to him songs them. And I spent one whole night. Like, like I spent whole night I listen I listen every one of the man songs them. Till I end up I watch the man, the youth. I don't want to say man yet. Because I'm still a grow. I spent whole night I watch this little youth here. Yeah. Performance them. And I see a king in the rising. And I say, I see some great people. I say, yo, I wish part of greatness I did a hide. And then the youth say, Grand Spen. And I say, Grand Spen? Grand Spen, my father come from. You see? Him? Then the man say, Come on. And I say, Blow oh. Come on, my family, them come from. You see? Him? So I start watch the youth I perform on some stage. But to the youth I move like a leader. I said that youth yeah, special. That youth yeah, the next thing. You see? To the man come on the stage. I mean, trust me, since being a man, the man, 
and Shabba ranking them and stitchy them and budgie them. And them league them, I tell you about when I watch them and the people. Me not see no, me not see nobody come about here. Nobody since the greats them from the 90s and the 80s. Me not see nobody come round here with me see. Because you may see, but with me see. Me not see nobody come round here we can deliver them lyrics, melody, key. Come on under the stage. Like that little youth here. Me say, who oh, is this man? And told the man just DJ. And then him call on him people them. And him call on him people them. And me see the man call up some sisters and some sisters. So me say, what kind of king this? The man already have an empire. So I go up on my Twitter page after I done listen to everything and watch every performance. I go up on my Twitter page. And I say, the youth are great or something like so. I say, yo, the youth are gonna be the greatest thing. You see? Next day I do an interview. And I just say, yo, we are talking about music and wish for the music, reach and thing there. And I mention the youth again in the, in the, in the, in the interview, you see? When I mentioned it, I never remember his name. Zin? I never remember his name, but I want to hear a little piece of the interview. Look, listen, listen, a little piece of the interview. I'm not at pension. What do you say more because you were going now? Um, I want to show you to jump in the conversation because we don't want to give you the silence of me like when you run out of the studio, I produce and I understand. You see, but you have to understand. You, you didn't have a hardcore gun lyrics. I said, Buju did say, yo, we kill people and drink blood and it's up there. You're right, you're right. So we have more avenues. We have, you know, people can express themselves more now. When they buy a rhythm and a man just say, yo, this is good. You see, I see a little youth there, they are the baddest DJ. I a little youth, I don't remember his name. He was the baddest artist I see for the past, like since. I think he's even better than Cartel. Based on him, DJ. Based on where we know a big bad DJ. I don't remember his name. His name is Joshi or something like that. Joshi, Joshi, I don't know. DJ, I have one song with my tab or host, but when we hear the song, I say, Yo, that you take him a DJ. Him could have bust for any shams with him, any steely with him, any Danny with him. Him just, especially if Dave Kelly, I'm like a Dave Kelly with the hard work. Right, the that's whole right. Of like that. You understand me? I say, one of the baddest, baddest, baddest DJ. So I say, and if you listen to him, sang them, you know, I be a bad man lyrics and everything about again, them have. You know, access to rhythm now with, where a man can't tell him, say, don't sing that. Right. So the gate just open up then. Right. The gate is so much wide open up now. now. What well, we not understand, you know, the producers, them, you know, the real producers like Shama Shani, so them now, you know. You see me, I say, right now, we, we have to go get some land and try to build some house and some to try to make some money and stay in the grave children. Them. Because here we out place or, um, 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 replace Shani, them, and, you know, everybody know, in a sense. The man, them, we have money to spend, but them, look at you, there. Alright. <clears throat> so that was me. I still can't get over the two nights ago or the night before me. I said, Oh, I'm not going to be a youth yet. Where the hell bad artist I come from? So I said, The baddest DJ this. See? Alright. What I say all of that now? I say all of that to say this. You see, your talent and your gift, them things they are like attributes. Right? Well, help make up your characteristics. Them things are just attributes and them things that we look for, them things as gift. We take you out of certain situations. Take you out of poverty. Help you to take care of the family. You know? And other people get help along the way as well, right? So this opportunity, when you get this opportunity, you have to start think outside the box. You have to start thinking, say, yo, what am I going to be in five years? Where am I going to be at in five years, ten years? When I look back at this day, this moment when I'm getting the break, where am I going to be in ten years? What am I going to accomplish? What my legacy is going to be like? You see? No. Me see. They look at you, do, I, do an interview. 
if, if I don't offend anybody by saying look at you, but I see him as a little son, because he's 21 and <laughs> so I say, my son is 17, my biggest son is 17 and he could have been my son. So it's not a disrespect to say look at you. When I listen to that, in, that interview, the right? I see other people take a different take on the interview. And most people seem to think that seem to think that um, the things them that um, Josh is saying at the interview, you know, is him being himself. But we have to understand something. You see, when you become a star, when you get the bus, it's a new day. Understand that. When you get the bus, you start to look for more opportunities and more doors start open. One of them doors there is to get a visa for travel. Because you want your music. You want your music go global, right? So you know say you want a visa to leave Jamaica. Some of these countries that we have to go to to perform as artists, right? They're actually looking at the internet and they're doing more research now on, on entertainers or artists who are trying to get work visas. Yeah? You have to be very careful of the things then that you say. You want to be, you, you want to be yourself you, know? you want to present yourself to the public as who you are. But be very careful. Bear in mind that we're looking for opportunities. As a little youth with just a bus, Think about the opportunities then where you can get for better yourself, for help somebody else whether poor and broke and hungry like you. For help somebody see them youth them where up and down with you, cause as me say you as a leader. And a lot of youth gravitate towards you. Think how you can make them better in a life, youth. Don't do things and say things. Because we want to be ourselves. And we think that people want to hear it. Because see, most of the people them want to hear it. They don't really mean you any good, you know. Because when the bullseye is placed on you, from the people them that you try to got you to reach where you want to go, because you have to go through a set of people to reach where you want to go. You understand? One of them persons there, one of them set of people there, is the American Embassy. We have to go get visa for travel, all them things. You don't want to pull up certain things and see you saying certain things. I mean, I'm going to repeat the things from the interview because I'm going to help propagate the negative or the things where me think negative. See? But us know that we're in a digital era. We're in a digital era. This is not even a print media era. You know? Um, this is not mostly a print media era. We're in a digital era where somebody can just type in a name and if somebody is speaking about a particular subject or an interview that you did, when they type in a name, chances are the person that you're trying to get an opportunity from is going to type in a name and that is what is going to come up. That's what's going to come up. You understand? 